so good morning everyone our topic for this day is all about measurements and conversion chart first let us define what is a measurement so when you say measurement this is the act of determining the size the capacity or quantity so there are different uh, measuring tools that we can use uh, to provide us the accurate measurement okay so we have here what should you weigh your ingredients one chef has proclaimed you can make bad food taste better with more butter or salt but it is better to just make great food with the right amount of ingredients. So measurements is the only way to avoid discrepancies in your cooking. So why should you weigh your ingredients? First is to cook better food. So there, there's a reason why recipes have exact amount or have exact ways on their ingredients. When creating recipes, the recipe developers have likely tried a number of different variants so that they can get the best result. So it is best to follow the recipe. Okay. Next, we have the accuracy. So your ingredient measurements have to be precise to get the good result and uh to be consistent every time you cook okay that's why you have to correctly measure your ingredients next we have weight versus volume okay for us to get the weight and the volume of ingredient we have different measuring tools so that uh, we can properly measure or accurately measure our ingredients okay we can use uh measuring cup as well as measuring liquid okay? or the weighing scale third one is portioning uh, this is to ensure that the portion are equal and uniform in size that's why we need to measure the ingredients so next one we have portioning to ensure that the dish are equal and uniform in size we have to make sure that the measurement of all ingredients are accurate and precise okay we also have consistency so if you want the people to keep coming back to your uh, restaurant or hotel, the taste of your food should be consistent. That's why using precise measurements will make your food consistent in taste as well as in portion. And then lastly, less to clean. So weighing is faster easier as well as less to clean up also by accurately measuring your ingredients you can ensure that food waste will be less so ingredients must be accurately weighed and measured and you have to ensure that the food will be of high quality next so we have here uh, the gallon measurement. So as you can see here, one gallon is equivalent to or equal to 128 ohms, equal to four quarts to eight pints and 16 cups. So one quart is equal to 32 ohms and one pint is equal to 16 ohms. One cup is to eight pounds. While the solid measurement, one pinch is equal to one eight teaspoon, one cup is equal to sixteen tablespoon, 
1 tablespoon is equal to 3 teaspoon, 1 tablespoon is equal to 15 ml and 15 grams. So 1 teaspoon is equal to 5 ml and 5 grams. Well, the liquid measurement, 0.946 quarts, is equal to 1 liter, 1 pint is equal to 2 cups, and 480 ml, and 1 cup is equal to 240 ml. So you have to memorize all the uh, different conversions for us to properly and accurately measure all the ingredients. Next, we have the weight measurement. So we have one pound is equal to 16 ounces. One ounce is equal to 28.35 grams. And one pound is equal to 454 grams. One kilogram is equal to 2.21 pounds. And we also have the metric conversion. So as you can see here, we have one liter is equal to 1,000 ml. One centiliter is equal to 100 ml. One deciliter is 10 ml. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 gram. One centigram is 100 gram. One decigram is 10 grams. And one gram is equivalent to one ml. So we have here the steps on how to compute for the conversion. The first step is you have to choose the appropriate conversion factor from the conversion table. Second is represent a known as x and form a second ratio. So third one, cross multiply the two ratios. And fourth is solve for the known measurement as x. Okay, so let's have an example. We have a problem here. How many cups of water is needed for a recipe requiring 480 ml? So let's compute. We have here the solution. The first step is you have to find the conversion factor. So this is for liquid measurement. So as you can see here, one cup is equal to 240 ml. Next is you find the second ratio. For us to find the second ratio, we have to represent the unknown as x. Okay, so x is the cups, how many cups of water is equal to 480 ml. Okay, the third step is cross multiply two ratios. And solve for the unknown measurement as x. Okay, so we have to cross multiply. One cup is to 480 ml, and to x multiplied by 240 ml. So we have to compute for the x. X is so see 240. sa baba. Okay, so we have 480 ml multiplied by 1 cup over 240 ml. So you have to cancel the ml, okay, since same sila. So ang natitira na lang, we have cup. So 480 over 240, so the answer is 2 cups, okay. Let's have another example. We have here, how many ml of milk is needed for a recipe requiring four pints? So the solution is, so the conversion factor is one pint is equivalent to 480 ml. Okay, so x is equal to four pints. So cross multiply. Okay, so we have here four pints multiplied by 480 ml over one pint. So Cancel. We have here 4 times 4 ATML is 1920 ml. Divided by 1 is the answer is X is 1920 ml. Okay. 
Now let's move on to the oven temperature conversion. So we have here the formula in finding the degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. So degrees Celsius is equals to degrees Fahrenheit minus the 32 divided by 1.8. Well, degrees Fahrenheit is 1.8 multiplied by degrees Celsius plus 32. So let's have an example. We have here the 300 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to what degrees Celsius? So we have to find the degrees Celsius. So the formula for degrees Celsius is degrees Celsius, so degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. So we have here 300 minus 32 divided by 1.8. So it's equals to 268 divided by 1.8. So the degree Celsius is 148.89. Okay. So same through with the uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So if you want to find the degrees Fahrenheit, you use the formula for degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Now let's have an activity. So you have to convert the following. Okay, do not research and you have to show your work. These are the problems that you have to compute. So we have here five problems. Okay, one quart is equivalent to how many tablespoons? 1.5 liter is equivalent to how many ml? Three cups, how many ml? 170 degrees Celsius, how many degrees Fahrenheit? And 284 degrees Fahrenheit, 2 degrees Celsius. So thank you everyone. Uh, I will see you on our next meeting. Okay.